Hi, I just wanted to update you on the do-it-yourself light box. I've already done two videos, I think it is, on actually uh, constructing this do-it-yourself light box with a recycled Amazon uh, box here and some recycled uh, high CRI LED strips, which I got from one of my uh, studio lamps, which you can actually um, see it's one of these jobbies up there. There it is, one of those, you know, light boxes. Anyway, one of those um, uh, corn of cob, uh, they call it. Well, actually, here's my original um, experiment one. These, uh, th these are high CRI 5000 uh, color, or is it 5500 color rendering index uh, LEDs? I think 95 plus uh, CRI. Very nice. They're going to produce very uh, control, you know, very high quality uh, color results and things like that. So I've actually got them around the uh, top of the box, and I'll show you that now. But this is uh, the final form of it here, powered from a uh, lab power supply. I've got plenty of lab power supplies uh, lying around and you can see there it is there you just stick your product in there and that is my light box maybe I can turn it down a tad it looks very impressive it actually produces very even light so let me uh, turn this off and show you inside here the final form I've just got a uh, paper inside here white uh, paper works great as a uh, diffuser to actually uh, diffuse the lead strips which are along here, 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 and here behind uh, the paper, which are then um, angled up and taped on the top here. So they act as uh, diffu light diffuser uh, panels, which then gives even light and like around the product. And I've still got my um, alfoil here, aluminium foil, and on that aluminum rubbish for you Yanks. Um, that's still in there to actually help bounce the light and reflect it in there. So it basically all comes out these light panels here and I've got a matte black uh, back in on here which helps prevent uh, reflections. So I'll um, show you the a before video before I actually installed this paper. And here's inside before the paper treatment. So what I've done is just uh, stuck matte black uh, cardboard on the back there that I got from the news agent and cut out the hole on top. It's all sticky tape down. I got the LEDs on the outside. Uh, they're all in series, so you know it's a relatively high uh, compliance voltage. But I've kept all the uh, alfoil on the side so that the lights, of course, uh, reflect off the uh, alfoil in there. You could actually um, use white paper in there as well. No wackers. But uh, yeah, the black's going to help a lot uh, with the reflections in there for any uh, item that I photograph that actually has a reflective surface like a screen or a plastic window or something like that. Okay, I fixed my exposure on my camera, and you can see, as I start out low like that, obviously we're going to get a little bit more. It's actually not, shows up a little bit more hot spotty on the uh, camera at the bottom there, but it's generally speaking a pretty nice light panel like that. And I'm not too worried about the uh, corners, they don't seem to really affect anything, so... This is going up to, uh, I'm only 150 uh, milliamps at the moment. Normally I run it at uh, 500 milliamps. I'm not sure what the rating of these LEDs actually is. I can't actually remember, but I do run it at, there you go, um, half an amp. So it's yeah, a nice, fairly um, illuminated panels on the side. Works well. Of course, this stuff is really hard to show up on uh, video. So I have to include some uh, sample photos here, but uh, obviously I'm... Uh, can of course put down either a matte black uh, finish or I can put down like a grey or something like that if I want nice even exposure but I don't have to worry about uh, white balancing because I've got that manually set in my camera because I know what the colour temperature of these LEDs is but you know I can use like a white backdrop and things like that and uh, products with um, LCDs and reflective uh, surfaces seem to show up just fantastically on here but uh, I really had to add that matte black uh, back in at the top, just like I've had to do. I've, I'll link in a video where I had the same issue with my uh, Tagano microscope and, had, had to, and how I had to install um, acoustic panels, uh, dark acoustic coloured acoustic panels above my microscope because I was getting uh, reflections um, back down into the lens. And what I use to uh, shoot my macro photos is an Alpha uh, 6300. It's a Sony jobby with a 35mm uh, macro lens. It's not that expensive, but it gives great shots. It's a one-to-one -one 
one macro lens, so there's no uh, distortion at all, and it's just brilliant. And I just basically sit it there. I've got uh, my cardboard cutout is just big enough, so that sort of just fits in there. The only a major issue at the moment is that I have to make sure the camera is actually perfectly vertical, because if, if your product is not centered, and you're even like slightly off on your tilt like that, it does actually show up, the angle does show up on the photo. So like I could, like I've got a right angle, the tripod I'm using now can actually support right angle and stuff like that. And, but I'm always taking this camera. It's not a permanent setup. I'm using this for like product photography on the bench as well. So I'm always, I can't really set up a permanent thing for it, but I could have some sort of, you know, camera stand, like right, that guarantee stand that guarantees the right angle. I do actually have one of these uh, small rig uh, cages for this thing, highly recommended uh, by the way. And like I could actually install like a right angle uh, mount for it or something uh, like that. So, and then I could, you know, if I'm not using, I could just lift the camera out and uh, whatnot. So yeah, that's probably a solution for that, but I haven't done that yet. But you know, uh, it's good enough for Australia, just like this, no wackers. But um, yeah, it the results are absolutely spectacular. Let me show, like this is completely automatic out of the camera. I haven't set like, uh, you know, exposure or anything like that. But here's uh, two shots side by side. One is of my uh, Casio, old Casio calculator before I installed the black background. That's on the uh, left hand side. And you can see the reflection of one of the wires in there when I actually had uh, the alfoil on the top roof of the thing as uh, you saw in a uh, previous video. But now I've replaced that with the matte black uh, background and I get no reflections at all. And then th that, that shot is on the right hand side and that I think that looks absolutely gorgeous and then here's another one uh, using comparing the white um, background with the black background and you know depends on what you want you could put any color um, you know background sheet you want under there and Bob's your uncle so anyway I think this is just a very cheap and simple way to get a really effective light box. The only problem is if I want uh, larger products, I've got to like physically move it up like this. It still actually works, but I've just <laughs> got to move it up. And if I want really small products, then I've got to actually lift them up inside, like on a uh, base, like on some books or something, and then put the uh, back white sheet background on it and then uh, get it closer uh, to the lens. But that's no problem whatsoever. It's it's cheap, simple, effective, uses all recycled materials. I already had the light and everything. I didn't have to buy anything uh, to make this at all. And the results are absolutely amazing. So anyway, I rather like it. And if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. As always, discuss down below. Catch you next time.